I'm a bit, uh, I don't know if I'm late, but uh, I need to go in Liverpool city center. I need to park my car and go on foot to the dentist because it's really in the center. Let's see if I can make it. <laughs> but of course, I'm not gonna drive over the speed limit. Today is a bit cloudy, to be honest. When I was uh, first starting uh, to drive at the driving school, I was just terrified of other cars and also in Romania because in, uh, in Romania I, I took my driving license so if you were just making a making a, a bad move in the traffic you'll get you'll get horn out you get <laughs> swearings you get the finger just been last year with this car actually in Romania and the traffic feels more safer than it felt uh, many years ago when I was driving in Romania so I think the newer generation is more with a calm side more like more of a chill chill uh, generation let's say it's kind of chill today, the traffic. And I don't know why it's so cloudy today. Because last week we had like, um, I don't know, one day, two days, like it was a bit sunny. Uh, this is intersection on this side. Um, it's really tricky for new, new drivers because it's a bit scary because these cars are coming from that, that way and you can you have to do a right in there so that's that was scary for me actually when i first drive to that intersection there's a speed camera in here that's why i'm trying to be below 30. i don't know if you can see that uh, six series in the mirror oh this is a grand coupe actually if you can see i first wanted a grand coupe but uh The insurance was sky high for me. For example, I tried to do an insurance for a 640D M Sport. The quote was 4,300 or something like that. And um, for example, for my car, it's still a 640D, and this is something that I didn't understand. I never understand that. How can you charge less for a two-door coupe and charge more for this uh, four-door coupe? Because it doesn't make sense. Because I know that if you are driving a sportier car, because that's it's not more sportier than this. This is more sportier than that because it has two two doors and it has a, it's a bit smaller with not too much but it's more like a it's bigger with seven centimeters if i'm not wrong if i'm not mistaken it's not too much but anyway um for this car the insurance was 1800 in first year that was three years ago but wh why is this a huge difference between them and why is it so much for the four door? Because this should be more like a family car. I don't know. But anyway, um, like I said, the M Sport it has a it has some other features than my car. My car it's just a SE. But the main differences are the bumpers. I don't know if the side skirt, uh, the bumpers and uh, the steering wheel it's a more like a um, slimmer one, I mean it's a more huge, not, not, not like huge but so the steering wheel, the seats are more sportier, they have um, the leg extension, for example mine doesn't have that. And those uh, side wings and um, the wheels 
for the M Sport are 20 inch, mines are 19. M Sport has a uh, sport suspension, so it's more stiff. With the uh, with the seats as well, it's more stiff. And um, I think it also has some different uh, discs. My discs are really huge, so I'm not worrying about the braking distance or braking power. Nice Mustang. <coughs> Yeah, so this is the city center of Liverpool. Really nice, isn't it? John Moores University, Mount Pleasant. Like from the from from the GTA. Also, what what scared me when I was first driving, it was the these types of vehicles when I was passing by. They have visibility, but not that much as a small car drivers of these vehicles they don't have uh, so much visibility and if you are making a move they might not see you just make sure that he sees you before doing that oh so they want to build some new apartments in here they must be expensive in, in the city center of liverpool this is how they should look after they finish uh, building it. That's a Ferrari. I think it's a new one, isn't it? Oh, that's nice. From the looks of these, they the car park looks like it's really busy today. Last time when I was here, I paid seven pounds for one hour or something like that. This is the perfect spot for me because I'm all, always um, looking to park at the end of the the aisles. My doors are so long. And uh, if, for example, look how much space I need. Crazy, isn't it? In a normal car park, I wouldn't have the space to open the full door. I wouldn't um, park my car where it's uh, really busy because there's a high chance for other people to scratch this car when they open up the doors I'm here so I'm just going now uh, I have the appointment at 10.50 but I have to be there with 10 minutes before What is up you two? I just came back from the dentist and uh, my upper left side is numb because I had a, <clears throat> a local anesthetic so I might speak weird. I think it's gonna rain today. I don't know why, why it took so long to get the payment done but here's almost eight pounds I paid seven pounds and ninety P for I think it's it's been um one hour and twenty minutes that's how much it cost uh, car park in the city center of Liverpool these guys are oh that's a Ducati 
B4S that's one of my favorite bikes um, maybe in the future I'm gonna get a, a motorcycle license as well I always wanted the motorcycle license but in UK there's a lot of uh, motorcycle thefts personally I, I know cases that uh, thieves just came in the middle of the day and stole the guy's bike nice bikes this car has 313 horsepower but you're not even gonna use that much power every day or all the time um, especially in the city you're gonna use ma the maximum that you're gonna use in the city is like 180 200 horsepower it says 320 but it's 313 and 640 newton, newton meters of torque That's how much you use. This is the Godison Everton uh, Stadium. If you saw the power, that's like 200 horsepower. I think if you're going on with, with this car on the track and um, have some fun with it, then you're gonna f use the full power on the truck. To be honest, when I first drove this car, I, I was scared. And I was scared even after three, four months to use the whole power. Because uh, my previous car was a Nissan, which had uh, 110 horsepower. So going from 110 horsepower to this, that makes three times that the power it's kind of scary so I just uh, use the ceramic coating I don't even have to use the windshield wipers I used two step ceramic coating one was uh, well like it's actually three steps the first uh, step is to clean the windshield with a degreaser something that uh, will take off the dirt from the windshield second step is to use a special cleaner from the from that company but I forgot the name of it and uh, the third stage it's a ceramic layer and you can add as many as um, as many la layers you want and this is the result if you can see the whole windshield is going off like that And uh, this is starting from 40 miles per hour and right now I'm almost 70 miles per hour and if you're driving faster you're not gonna see a drip of water but of course I'm not gonna drive faster I'm just gonna be in the speed limit So I don't know how you guys can see on camera, but I see the windshield very clear. I don't even need the, the wipers now. The thing is that if it rains a lot, the water is just gonna go up and you're not gonna see that much. The thing with this is if it um, rains just a bit, you're gonna see all over the place uh, tiny particles till they form a drop and I think that's it guys thank you for watching please subscribe if you haven't and I'll see you in the next one thank you.